Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have another moving vlog which I'm so excited for. Yes, I have got dark hair now. I don't know what video um, you'll first see me in with dark hair, but this is the first one that I'm actually officially filming with my new dark hair, so hopefully you like it. Um, so yeah, today's video is gonna be um, obviously house updates. So I'm gonna be showing you our new sofas, which I'm so excited for. I'm gonna be showing you our new wardrobe room as well. Our wardrobes have finally arrived. And then there's some just little bits and pieces that we're doing around the house too, like changing the curtains and things like that, which I'll take you along with me and show you what we're changing them to as well. So excited guys, so let's get into it. So guys, our wardrobes have arrived. These were actually meant to arrive the end of Jan, but they've arrived, I think they arrived last week, about three days before Christmas. So that is what we're tackling today. It's the day after Boxing Day today. So yeah, we're gonna put these together. I'll put you on time-lapse so you can see how we get on. I'm pretty nervous because I'm rubbish at furniture, but I'm sure Jordan will take the lead. Um, so we've got two wardrobes. One of them is gonna be almost the whole wall here and then the other one is going to be like this wall here so yeah our wardrobe room is finally going to start to take shape and we can stop living out of cardboard boxes <laughs> so for now guys i'm not going to do a time lapse just because it's taken us literally so long um so anyway it's been about an hour now so we've just put the base of the wardrobe together and then the top of the wardrobe together we've still got six big boxes like this to go through. It's really difficult because I think it's in German. So yeah, the, the instructions are not very handy at all. So we're just basing it on the pictures, but the pictures basically will say something like G24, but then nothing's marked with that. So we're basically looking at the screws, trying to figure out what's what, but they don't really look the same as the pictures. So we're just kind of praying that it will go okay. Um, so yeah, this is where we're at so far. So I'll check in with you again in another hour or so to show you kind of where we're at. So guys, it's about two days later now. We had quite a few issues with the wardrobes. Some bits were broken and um, yeah, we just had to glue them basically and get that all back in order so that we could continue working on it. So we're now about two days in and this is where we're at. So the first one is nearly up. The doors are just about to go on now. I'll show you once it's done. Like I said, I won't bother with, with the time lapse because there's so much stuff in this room and it's hard work it takes forever. So yeah, I'll show you it once it's up instead. So guys, it's the next day and both wardrobes are up. So I'm gonna quickly show you them before I start putting anything in them. So here is my wardrobe. I'm so happy with it. If anyone's interested, we got these from Furniture in Fashion and they're called Kref Eld. So it's K-R-E-F-E-L-D is the range if you wanna search for them. So yeah, this is my one. Obviously I've got the bigger one because girls, you know, it's like we have more clothes. So my one has got six doors, four mirrors, and then two like paneled looking doors. So inside they're all exactly the same. So they're a lovely gray inside. I didn't actually know what the inside looked like when we ordered them because they were so new on the website. They didn't have pictures. So I just like trusted they'd be okay. So they've all got this big storage bit at the top. All oh, my camera's going out of focus and then a rail and that is it. So I might buy some sort of inserts for these so I can put shoes at the bottom and things like that, but that will be eventually. Maybe if I do that, I can do like a wardrobe organization video, but for now, I'm just gonna be putting my clothes in here because they're all in boxes at the minute. So that is my wardrobe. And then you spin around and this is Jordan's wardrobe. Also, you can all the fact the doors are not closing on this and mine's the same as well, um, but this one in particular, the doors need adjusting. So Jordan's gonna do that hopefully today on like another day because we, we just wanted to get the wardrobes up then you have to like adjust the doors to make sure they all fit nicely so yeah that's not done yet if you're wondering why they look a bit skew if but that's fine so obviously his one has the two mirrors and then the two panel in and he's got exactly the same storage inside as my one i did ask him yesterday was he happy with this size of wardrobe but he said it's the biggest wardrobe he's ever had and he's very happy with it so jordan can put like all his t-shirts and jeans and everything above there and then just hang clothes down there so that's whoa so that is amazing for him. Be happy with this space. We might get like a little puff or something to go in the middle to sit on, that'd be quite nice. I'm thinking about getting it boxed in as well. So getting a carpenter to like box in the top and stuff so it looks built in, but I'm not sure because where the window is, the wardrobe hangs over where the blinds and window is. So I don't know how that would work exactly. So my job for today, this is my to be filming room. Look guys. So this is just bags and bags and bags of clothes and obviously our Christmas stuff as well as you can see but this is just such a dumping ground so so yeah my job today is going to go through a lot of this and sort out what we're going to keep what I'm going to sell and what I'm going to give the charity shop to let me just quickly take you downstairs as well because that is only a fraction of it so in the garage we also have all of these boxes let me just turn the light on so yeah how many have we got four probably about 15 four five six seven eight nine ten 
17 boxes still to go through. Mm, maybe two thirds of these boxes are still clothes and shoes and things like that. So we've got a lot to go through. But I think quite a lot of it is Jordan's actually, to be fair, like coats and things like that, which obviously take up a lot of space. So first off, tackle the upstairs bedroom. And then secondly, we will tackle this maybe this week off for Christmas. But if not, this is just a gradual thing. We're not going to like stress ourselves. We'll just take it, do it over time, basically. But I can't wait for all this to be gone because it does clutter up the garage. So guys, this is the first lot of clothes I've got to go through. So three, well, two boxes, one big bag. Genuinely, I think this is not even denting how much stuff I have got, which is a little bit excessive, I know. But yeah, I'm gonna go through these first, sort out what I want and don't want and sell and charity shop and all of that. And then we'll be back and I'll show you the progress. I find doing this so like, I love it because it's very therapeutic and I enjoy going through everything, but I get a bit bored and like overwhelmed. I'm just like, oh, I just want this to end. When I was younger, I used to like empty my wardrobes, chuck everything on the floor, go through it all and rearrange it. And then halfway through, I was like, I can't be asked anymore. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll keep you updated and show you how I get on. I won't bother time-lapsing it because I just want to kind of do it and do it in my own time and enjoy it and not worry about the camera sort of thing. So yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. A little update guys, about five hours on. This is the hallway. This is the spare room. <laughs> And this is the bedroom. Jordan's like on his as well. Huh? Okay, so it's now like 6 p.m. I started about 10 o'clock. So it's actually been all day. So I'm going to give you a little update. So this box of clothes is stuff I want to hang out in the wardrobes, but there's not enough hangers. So I've ordered some more hangers and they should arrive by Sunday. It's New Year's Eve today, by the way, guys. So I just wanted to have a productive day. And then here's my wardrobe so far. So this one has got bags, there's like two rows of bags at the top. Um, and then I've got some clothes here. These are like my going out clothes. Um, and then my shoes are down there. There's still some things on the floor because I am that person that she always ends up with a few little bits on the floor that I'm just like, where do I put them? So I've still got to do that. So I'll show you like a grand reveal in a few days time once it's properly done. The next one has got like slippers and hot water bottles and that down there. Comfies here and then loungewear. So you can see this is the biggest one. And then the last one is coats here. Got some boots and some shoes down there. And then up here, we've got jeans, trousers, um, skirts, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then Jordan's one, again, his isn't finished yet either because he's ordered some bits. Um, but this one is his like smart side. Um, and he's got some bits up there as well. And then this one is his more just everyday side. And again, we're waiting to order some organisation bits and pieces just so that we can organise properly because Jordan's got a lot of tops and that that are just kind of stacked up down there and he needs something better to organise it with. So that's why everything isn't looking completely perfect. Ideally, I'd like to move my railings up higher because I feel like that's wasted space and then maybe get something to put my shoes on just so it's a bit neater. But yeah, that's that for today. There's still a little bit of mess in here as you can see, but it will get done. The hallway is still an absolute tip. So these two bags are my clothes that are going to the charity shop or a clothing bank. Dawn's also got two big bin fulls full, um, bin liners, I mean, full of clothes to give to the charity as well. And then these are my clothes to sell. So I've got two big bags and then two small bags back there. So I'll probably put these up on Depop maybe, I don't know. And then the last room, <laughs> look, so, I mean, it's not as bad as earlier, let's be real here. It's not as bad as earlier, but there's still a lot of crap in here to go through. And then I'll just quickly take you downstairs to show you the garage, because that is considerably reduced. So, as you can see, there's loads of cardboard to recycle. Um, but yeah, this is actually it. Earlier on, there was actually boxes stacked all the way here. Um, I think we counted, how many was it, 15 earlier? There's now only four boxes left, so we've done really well getting rid of that stuff. Um... My old sofa's here actually, which needs to be sold. We'll do that at some point. And I've got a few bits of clothing here that I need to take upstairs. But yeah, that is today's progress. I'll check in with you another day um, when we're further ahead and show you the finished result. So guys, a few days has passed and all the hangers have arrived now. So, so Jordan's gone for these black hangers. So these black plastic hangers for his wardrobe. There's 25 here, but we actually do have another 25 on the way. So yeah. He just wants to go for an all black theme in his wardrobe. And the ones that I've gone for are these like velvety ones because they're the ones I quite like. And I've got a pack of 50, which is all these packs here, only for £20 on Amazon, which I thought was a really good price. They're kind of like a nudie grey colour, so I'm really happy with them. 
Um, I'm gonna go up there tonight. I've just finished work and I'm gonna hang all my clothes up. Hey everyone, so excuse my appearance. Today we're gonna to be changing the curtains in the living room and also in the dining room. So I'm just gonna quickly show you the ones that we've got. So for the dining room, we're gonna go for this lovely cream curtain. So these are the Blackout Islet curtains from Dunelm and these are the 46 by 72 and they're 40 pounds. And I really like the color. It's like a really nice natural stony sort of color. You've got different tones in there as you can see. I mean, it is quite a basic kind of boring colour, but I really liked it for the room. I just wanted something quite bright and natural looking. So this is what they look like on the back. And then to go with it, I found this really nice curtain pole. Didn't think I'd ever be saying that, but here we are. This is also from Darnell. 29mm diameter metal curtain pole with finials. Love that is. Um, eyelet. And then this is what the ends look like. And I really like this one because it's a lovely matte black. I believe it was about, oh yeah, 30 pounds, there you go, 30 pounds. So this is the first one we're gonna put up. So I'm gonna put that one up now. And this is what the curtains currently look like. So we've got a quite old fashioned gold curtain pole and then we've got a dark brownie color set of curtains. So I'm really looking forward to changing these up. Okay guys, they're up. So it looks really odd right now because we've still got the little gold bits here to hang the curtain pole up. The reason why we've left them up is because behind there, there's a really big thing about that size, basically holding the screws in the wall. And if we took it out, then you'd have to plaster the wall and all of that. And we basically, Jordan suggested we should just get some matte black spray paint and then spray that matte black and it will be fine. So that's what we're gonna do. So we've just put it up. Obviously they look awful right now because they need a good old steam. So I'm gonna steam these probably like tomorrow or something once we've uh, spray painted these we're going to order some probably online tonight so yeah that's that so now into the living room so this living room has loads of brassy gold features so it's got these um chandelier lights it's got the wall lights and then it's also got this here as well which again we don't obviously want this so we want to take this down so we're going to probably do the same thing in here take it all down take down these curtains and then replace it all with a new pole we've got. Right, okay, so here's the curtain pole that we ordered for the living room. So here it is. It's like a like a brushed matte sort of tone. Um, it's, it is silver, but for me, it's like almost just a very light goldy silver, would you say that? I think it's like, it is silver, but it's not like a cool silver. It's more like mm. a warm silver. It's an extendable pole. I'll try and link it down below. I think it was pretty cheap. It was like 20 something pounds. The curtains then we ordered to go with it are these ones. They're by the brand Curtina, and I got these on Argos, but they also have them on Matalan as well. I think they're about, how much are they? 65 pounds, 68 pounds, something like that. And these are the 90 by 90 inch curtains. Again, I'll link these down below if I can find them still. Okay, so the curtains are up, so this is what they look like. We're gonna wait for these to try and drop overnight or the next few, <laughs> ignore Lola, and <laughs> the next few days. Um, but if it doesn't, I'll just steam these ones as well, but they are quite big. So hopefully the weight of them will kind of drop them down. So yeah, this is what they look like. We've kept these little middle bits as well, like we did the last one. I want to order some spray paint that matches the curtain pole. Just saves us a job. Um, so yeah, really happy with them. I love the print on them. We've got some matching cushions for our sofa as well, like it. And this room is far from being done obviously we need to change the ceiling lights which we do have and we need to paint this room and there's just loads of things we want to do to this room so we're not really sure yet but having these items like the sofa and the curtains really help us to envision what sort of wall color we want and that sort of thing so yeah we're really looking forward to seeing this room transition and progress hey everyone so it's the next day now so i'm just gonna quickly show you the sofa because i haven't actually showed you that yet so this sofa is from dfs i think this is the lowry i can't remember yeah, so obviously it's a corner sofa and it's one of them ones where you can have it any way because it's the same length this way as this way, so that's really good. So if we ever want to move it around in the room, we can do without any difficulty. So we went for, I think this is the silver one, I believe, and you'll see the kind of material this is made out of. So I don't really know how to explain it. Um, it's obviously got little kind of speckles in there, if you can see, and it's almost a little bit velvety as well. Like in certain lights, it looks a little bit shimmery almost and almost a little bit... I don't want to say crushed velvet because it isn't crushed we didn't velvet. Want, we, we didn't, didn't want, want crushed, crushed velvet. velvet, no. So it's not, yeah, it's not really crushed velvet. But you can see here, like in certain lights and when you brush it certain ways, it does go a little bit darker. But for the most part, it is just, you know, a plainish fabric. So yeah, we're really happy with it. Um, it comes with lots of little cushions like these little ones here, as you can see. And then you also get arm cushions. We got this one, but they didn't actually 
deliver the other one so we're waiting for that one to arrive because that side is missing it <laughs> and then these cushions are from Matalan so I just got them because I thought they worked really well with the colour of the sofa um so yeah we really like it the legs look like this ignore anything under the sofa Lola has put her toy under there <laughs> so yeah we went for the darker legs you like them more feet and then it has studs that come all the way up here and we did actually ask for the studs to not be included on the sofa but they wouldn't do that um fair enough but we thought we'd ask anyway because we would have preferred it without the studs but we wasn't going to not get the sofa just because of the studs because it was our favorite one out of the whole of uh, the dfs store when we went there um one great thing they did do for us is all of these cushions normally have a print on the back um, which is nice if you want to add print to your sofa, but we didn't really like the prints that it had. It had like leopard print and a couple of other prints, which were just not our sort of theme. So we basically just asked them if they could do it all the same fabric. At first they said they couldn't, um, and then they phoned head office to check with us, and they actually said they could, because obviously it's the same fabric anyway, so it wouldn't have been any different, because they needed to build this from scratch. There was like a two or three month wait. So it's not like it would have been like a pre-made one, if that makes sense. So it wasn't any extra work for them to do that. So they were happy to do that, which is amazing, which is kind of what sold us the sofa because otherwise I don't think we would have got it if it had all the print on the back. It just, even though like you can flip them around, you still would have seen it here, if that makes sense. Um, then we also got this big poof that comes with it as well. So there's two different options. There's a circle one and then there's also the square one. We just went for this one. It doesn't have um, any storage or anything like that, but it's really nice so big and you can just all chill out on the sofa and have your feet up which is lovely it is a scatter back they also do it in a form or like hard back as well but we wanted the scatter back because it just gives you a lot more room here to sit and it's a lot softer you do have to plump it up every day though otherwise they will go flat like a pancake so that's just something to consider so for size reference jordan is how tall are you six foot one or something yeah about that and that's how much room we've still got on the sofa so literally Jordan can lay out, I can lay out, George, uh, Lola can lay on there oh, baby. and we've still got so much room so yeah oh, we're yeah. so so happy, it's so comfortable, if you're interested in this so far I definitely recommend it, it is just, we're so happy with it basically, so comfy, so so nice, um, we were you know I was considering getting like two separate sofas and having like a nice little coffee table in the middle but Jordan basically swayed me to get another corner, didn't no, he? No, I'll tell you what it is guys, right, we basically said like obviously Hazel wants things to look nice, I sort of convinced her that we want comfort. You know, at the end of the day, we don't want something that's going to look like a show home and yeah. not be able to move. Like, like, look at me, I want to be able to get snug, have a bit of depth in the side and actually be comfy. You know, yeah. we want to be comfy and cosy. We don't want something that looks amazing. And that's the only reason you've got it is because it looks amazing. Yeah, you yeah. Know? So like Hazel said, we've got the corner so we can both lay out. Yeah, so you can have like, both of you can be laid spread out. When we ever get to have more people around, like Hazel said, you can all use the poof because that's just amazing. It's huge. Lola loves it as well. So we just sort of went for comfort, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. It's more, it's, it, I think when you buy a sofa, it's got to be about the comfort. Yeah. That ultimately, when you're lazing around watching Netflix, that's what you want. Definitely. Um, I won't show you guys the whole living room today just because it is just a mess at the minute. There's stuff everywhere. Um, like I've just finished, I've just been filming. There's obviously like loads of stuff everywhere because she makes a mess all the time. So, but we will show you the living room in due course and you'll see that there's still so much room in this living room. It's not taken up a lot of it at all. Like it's still a nice spacious size. We then also got this armchair. So this is the matching armchair that goes with it. And um, it's the cuddler. They also had a couple of different ones, but this is, this was our favorite one. And yeah, it's just exactly the same as you can see. It fits two people. It fits all three of us if we want to all sit on there together. And we're really happy with this too. Do you want another size reference? Yeah, go on. Uh, so it's plenty of room for like two people. Yeah. Lola, <whistles> crafts, up, come here. Come here. Cross up. Good girl. Oh, you slided. <laughs> you slided into 20 or 21 like that, did you? And this, guys, is the lamp that we got from Very. So it's a really nice grey textured sort of um, lamp. Did I, say, did I say rug or lampshade? I don't know. It, anyway, it's a lampshade. And then um, it's got them like candle sort of things. There's three of them. And then it's chrome. And it's really nice, we really like it in the corner. It adds so much light to the room. So you can literally have just this on at night time and that's enough mm. to light the room up. So yeah, we're really happy with this. And we got this for only 50 pounds in the sale, which I thought was a right bargain, to be honest. I thought it was a right bargain. It was. Hazelwood bargain shopper. 
So next everyone, I'm gonna show you our wardrobe room and how far we got along with that and what it all looks like. I'm just closing the doors. Before I show you everything, all the doors and the wardrobes need adjusting. So they don't all close properly or like the gaps in between the doors vary on each door, if that makes sense. So you will notice that when you look at this. Um, don't worry about that, Jordan is gonna fix that at some point soon. It's just gonna require a little bit of time to like keep adjusting it until we get them perfect. So that's why I haven't been done yet, but we'll probably get them done like tomorrow or something like that. So let's spin you around and show you the wardrobes. We've popped this light in here, which was from my flat. Um, we need to get the little plastic cover thing that goes to the top there, but I just thought it added a little bit of glam to the room. I don't know if it will stay on here forever, but I, well, the reason why is because it's broken. There's lots of gaps here, if you can see, that like broken, which is really annoying. Cause I actually really like this. It's from the range, it was only about 20 something pounds. So I might just replace it and buy a new one, but we basically turned it around so you couldn't really see the, the gaps where it's broken, if that makes sense. So it's not too bad. I've all organized it now properly, color coordinated and everything thing guys to show you so first off is my going out cupboard and basically that's consisting of handbags shoes and clothes so at the top i've still color coordinated all the bags you've got like nude ones you've got all pink ones behind it's kind of hard to see let me just move this one um but yeah you kind of got like my dark you know black ones moving to brown nudes and then pinks at the back and then you've got my nude ones at the front here and then this one lives here as well because it's obviously a statement one um and then you've got my clothes. So again, I've tried to color coordinate and I was very, very ruthless with my clothes. I probably kept, I don't know how many I kept guys, but I probably kept a minimum, maximum, like a third of my clothes. So that's good. I've managed to kind of like have a nice declutter and all of that. So yeah, just got all my going out clothes. So you've got black ones, move into navy, move into like a purpley color, <laughs> move into nude, which is the predominant color in my wardrobe, you'll see, um, and then white, pink, and then move into like purpley, you know, I guess these ones could have gone that end, but I thought they kind of transitioned quite nicely after like the navy. So yeah, these are all the clothes, the going out ones, which I feel like is very visually pleasing. I love all the colors, like just coordinating like that. And then at the bottom, I've just got all my favorite heels. So I've only got a few pairs of heels in here. Um, again, I got rid of loads of shoes. I don't need them all. So yeah, just kept my favorite shoes really. Got a couple more that won't be in here. Um, I only wanted to keep like really super clean shoes in here, which haven't been worn out. Anything that's been worn and is a little bit dirty, will be living in the garage because we've got a shoe rack that's going to go up in the garage so anyway that is cupboard number one but the next one for me is like my everyday sort of clothes so at the top we have all of my uh, loungewear pieces and it actually goes back like two rows there's like this first row and another row so I've kind of gone from like sages to nudie creams browns pinks because they're the only real loungewear colors I have and black so yeah, I've tried to neatly fold them as much as I could. It was kind of hard, but yeah, there we go. They're all up there. And then here is all of my, um, they're not all everyday clothes. Some of them are nice and fancy, like little bodysuits and stuff. But for the most part, these are like everyday clothes. I wanted this going out cupboard to just be dresses and I wanted this one to basically be like anything else. So yeah, I've just got a mixture. So obviously again, color coordinated, black, um so you know all the colors like the certain colors that i only have a few of like these but they still they still work um and you can see the main color palette i've got here going on um but yeah so we've just got like little tops here and um, we've got some like jumpers hoodies um more jumpers more jumpers a little jumpsuit got some cute little body suits too which are more like going outy some nice blouses um more jumpers 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 blouse so yeah that is what I have there and again I'm really happy with it I feel like I can see what I've got I've kept enough but I haven't kept too much um, and then on this side you would have seen this potentially in my last little moving vlog haul that I did this is from Amazon I think it was like 20 something pounds basically I'm just using this for bodysuits here so these are all like rolled up it's got my black ones my brown and then my white and nudes this size again trying to color coordinate although it doesn't look that she pleasing i've got bras in here i've got underwear in here and i've got more underwear in here and then i've just got like slippers and gloves and stuff and hot water bottles down there so yeah this is my more everyday one which i'll definitely be reaching for way more than that one back there and then the last one is all my coats and jeans and stuff like that so let's just 
one coat is missing so I need to replace that soon but yeah so here are all my coats this is very visually pleasing for me so I've gone from white to creams to beigey nudes to tans to brown and then to black and then to grey so yeah that's the only colours I wear when it comes to coats and jackets so I basically put coats jackets blazers things like that in here um, and it fills up obviously the whole cupboard as you can see and then up here I've tried to do the same sort of colour coordination so we've got jeans back there we've got um like basically in here we've got jeans we've got skirts and we've got trousers that's basically what we've got in here and again just color coordinated color coordinated at the top there and then at the bottom of this one there's just some leftover hangers and then some belts and things like that so yeah that is my cupboards very very happy with them and then i'll quickly show you jordan's too he um is yet to finish his but i'll show you what he's done so far so I left him to it to some extent. I did have a little fiddle around in here and tried to colour coordinate for him a little bit, but he was like, no, I didn't want him that order. So I've just left him to it. So up here, he's got like his, um, I don't really know, like summery shorts and then some like travel bags and some nice jumpers he wanted on display because like, his nice jumpers and that sort of thing. Like he's kept the little tags at the front, blazers in here and like shirts and jackets and things like that. She's got in here, which fills up obviously one of these. And then down there, he I think he's yet to put stuff down here, but I think he's gonna put like fancy shoes, you know, ones that you'd wear as like a wedding or that sort of thing. So that's his first one. So that's his like more going out cupboard. And then his second cupboard is this one here, which this is the one that he's yet to like finish off. I do wish I feel like putting stuff in them now, but it just took so long and I just wanted to kind of like enjoy it and not constantly think, oh, the camera's on me, and like, you know, because I just I took my time with it, like I did it over a couple of days, so I didn't want to just film everything and just you know, I was I was looking rough as well. I didn't have any makeup on and stuff. So I just wanted to get on with it really. So maybe another time I'll do like a wardrobe organized video, but I don't stick to the organization. Cause you know what it's like, you first do something, it looks great. And then within time it gets messier and messier. So maybe once it gets a bit messy, I will do a how organize my wardrobe with me video, which let me know in the comments down below if that's something you'll be interested in. Even if, if it is something you'll be interested in and I keep it looking nice, maybe I'll just take everything out anyway and start fresh just to like show you what I do. And there's that, I think it's like Maria something on Netflix. She does like organizing videos or is she on YouTube? I don't know. But anyway, I want to watch her videos because maybe she'll have some like space saving hacks and more like, you know, better folding techniques that I can use on my wardrobe because I like it, but it's still, I don't like how I folded things, but I'm not a pro. So maybe that would be something interesting to do as well. Another thing we want for this room, which we found online, and we will just want to check the measurements before we order, is a puff. So we want to basically get like a nice puffy thing. Are they called puffs or puffy? 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 I don't know. Basically, a nice circle one. You know the Chesterfield ones, the buttons that go pull in? That's how I explain it to people. We want a nice round one of them in the middle of the room. Colour-wise, I'm not sure. I think we're going to go for like a taupey colour, but I mean the carpet is greyish, like grey-beige, so I feel like we could get away with grey or beige. I think we might go for like a nice taupey sort of colour. But yeah, that will just sit in the middle of the room. But we want to basically measure it to make sure that the the, cu the cupboard doors won't hit it. Because it would be so nice to have one in the middle. And then like, if we're in here together talking, get ready or whatever. Or we just want a little break. You can just sit on there, like try your shoes on, try your outfit on. Like I just think it will make it that really nice wardrobe room experience. Another thing we were thinking of doing was putting my dressing table here. But I don't think that's going to happen now because how long it is it's the mom i think the doors will hit it so i don't think that's going to work plus we have this blind here so i feel like a big mirror here would have been a bit weird but let me know if you think i should have a dressing table here like or do i keep it in my filming room and then the last thing i wanted you guys to let me know about is this wall here so this is obviously just the like so basically so basically you walk in here and then you've got like a little walkway here and then this is our airing cupboard but this wall here is obviously plain, there's nothing going on. And we've got two options. One, I've got some prints from Desenio, which you may have seen previously. They're like really nice fashion prints. So I'm thinking we could put them on there because that will just look really nice and just add a bit of fashion vibes. But another thing is we've got a big mirror from Ikea, a big white one. And the thing is, I said to Jordan, is there any point in having it in here? Because we've got all the mirrors on here, we don't really need a big mirror in here now. But at the same time, it would still be nice to have a big mirror for me to get like full outfit pictures and stuff because these ones are skinny mirrors. So I don't know. What do you think? Do we put the mirror there or do we put the two Ikea prints? But I really wanted the Ikea prints in here. So I feel a bit gutted to not have them up. Um, and they wouldn't really fit on any other walls because like you've got the door. And, I mean, they could go behind the door, but I feel like it kind of defeats the object of having them because they won't be on show. So yeah, let me know what you think. So guys, these have been sprayed today now. So this is the brushed chromey sort of one. So we're just about to put the pole back up to see if it all matches. Looks so much better than before. Mm. 
and the curtains are now up again so this is what it looks like up so yeah can't wait for this room to start transforming with all the lights and stuff and then we'll show you some more updates obviously once that happens then in the dining room this is what it's looking like so these ones have been sprayed matte black as well and look so much nicer um this one hasn't dropped much so i think i might just need to steam these so i'll probably do that in the week one day just give them a little steam to make them all nice and crisp and fresh just what a transformation from what we had before